What's up guys? In this video I'm going to discuss is BSV imploding. So yesterday Hollow Knot broke the news that um, Kristen Ager Hansen and Craig Wright were removed from the Enchain webpage. Uh, shortly thereafter Ager Hansen tweeted out that um, he is no longer the group CEO and that um, potentially Craig's status uh, is unclear. Meaning I don't know if he was fired. Ager Hansen was on a Spaces. He actually joined the Spaces last night and said he was fired. I'll put a link to that. Someone, a community member recorded that. I'll put a link to that in the description of the video. Um, Calvin is saying, Calvin Air is saying today that he's still on board as kind of a contractor. So who knows with that. And now um, Ager Hansen is um, posting a allegedly leaked email uh, you guys can speculate who that's from. Um, I have an idea of who I think it is. Um, just read it and let me know what you... Let, I, I'm just curious to see the comments. I'm just going to report kind of factual stuff. Um, I'm not going to get into too much of this drama. Um, I just want to let people know what's going on and my opinion on it. Um, like For personal reasons, I don't want to uh, talk about these specific characters. As some of you guys know, I've had uh, unfortunate consequences when it comes to discussing this stuff. Uh, but I just wanted to, you know, I still want folks to be informed about what's going on here. So um, this is all ahead of the Copa case, which, you know, I still need to maybe do a video on if I think it's important. Um, I think it's becoming less and less important, frankly. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, yeah. So really what I wanted to talk about is, you know, is it imploding? Well, uh, please note that the price is not reacted. Right. So. That what that tells me is um, either it was all, a lot of this crap was already priced in or uh, no one gives a fuck, which um, I think is more of the latter, which is good. That means the network is getting smarter and not being stupid as it has been for the last year, um, because, you know, we've been peddling these silly narratives that have gotten us nowhere. In fact, have pushed us backwards. So, for example, enterprise price doesn't matter. Um, all this stupid shit. Right. So. Um, as we move forward here, what we did get yesterday uh, at the same time as all this stuff was kind of blowing up is we got free posting on Hololocker. So as you guys know, I've been talking about one sat fees a lot. Um, one Satoshi fees, which, you know, makes it almost free to write to the blockchain. But there's a big difference between almost free and free. We have a non free posting on Hololocker. So you don't need a relay account anymore to post. Of course, you can still use that if you want. Uh, but now you can go there and just post whatever you want and people can lock bitcoins behind your post and curate and you guys will see on that site link in the description you say this is what bitcoiners want and this is what bitcoiners care about of course some folks are talking about this drama but uh, what people are mostly talking about is how do we push this thing forward the real shit, right so that's what i want to talk about in this video that stuff i mentioned earlier that, sh that stuff is fleeting uh it'll no one will be talking about it in a couple of days no one will give a fuck and as rightfully so, because what we care about is pushing this network forward, getting more usage and pumping the fucking price. OK, um, I'm tired of folks saying, oh, it's, it, the price doesn't matter. It's only for micropayments. These people do not understand the system. OK, and also if they won't post on Hololocker, they should not be trusted, frankly, because why would you not post where other Bitcoiners uh, have the coin? Right. Yes, it's free to post. You might not get any coins locked up. So that means you shouldn't pay attention to it. Simple, right? Uh, we have a, finally a way to curate with one of the most scarce assets on Earth. Um, you know, yes, it might sound like a BTT hodl mentality, but we don't have enough of that. And that's been our problem. So um, I just find it com very fascinating that all this stuff happened at the same time. Um, so the big takeaways for me are, yes, this stuff is starting to blow up. One good thing I think is coming out of this is that um, this stuff is being put in the public. Right. Because I think people could rightfully accuse uh, folks at Enchain BA of being in an ivory tower. Right. Um, not talking uh, to us down here, the people that are actually pushing the stuff forward, especially considering that uh, the patents and all that stuff have not done anything for this ecosystem. So um, given that um, this, the fact that people can finally get on the same page, right, because the network has been split into so many pieces that that's why we're kind of not aligned um some of that's just human nature but some of it has been engineered that way may intentional or not who's to say um but my point is 
the huddle locker is going to unite us. And I know some folks would think it's dumb and laugh at it or whatever. Honestly, keep coping. I don't care. 3,300 coins, money talks, bullshit walks. That's almost 100K. Um, so I don't know any Bitcoin app that's had 100K pass through it in the last three weeks. Um, especially, with, and again, the caveat is not speculative because no one's earning any coins there. They're just voting on content with their Bitcoins. I don't see how that's bad. And if people don't get it, sorry, Satoshi quote, don't have time to explain. Go read, go read the damn site. If you don't want to read it, okay, frankly, have fun staying, you know, whatever. Um, I hope you still hold BSV. That's all I got to say. Um, so, um, really, that's the point I want to make. I want to attract people's attention to that. Go see, this is what Bitcoiners want. Go read the post on there. You'll be very positive. You won't. You will stop caring about all this other stuff very quickly. Um, and the, by when I say the network is getting smarter, again, if the uh, information is public, especially if it's on chain and mutable, that's even better. That's bonus points. But if it's public, then people can get on the same page because, in even in our tiny community, net, I've noticed that information does not propagate. Right, which is funny because that's how bitcoin works but it's not happening with bsv and that explains a lot that explains why the price is down from 500 down to uh, from its all-time high down to 30. it's because people that are in the same community don't share the same beliefs or don't even have access to the same information but now that's changing right we should be looking at the chain we need to be using bitcoin ryan x charles said use bitcoin to solve Bit every problem with bitcoin can be solved with bitcoin well, that's what Hotter Locker is. Like it or not, if you don't want to use it again, that's that's, you know, you guys want to have ego. Um, you want to have ego because it's Jack Lou, uh, who incepted the idea. Who's um, you know, the brains behind the site. Zero's the coder, pseudonymous dev. Um, if you guys want to cope and say, oh, whatever, uh, there, there's no fucking difference between that. Asian man bad, Aussie man bad. What's the fucking difference? Hypocrisy. That's all it is. Get rid of the ego. We need to push this shit forward. The goal is to get Bitcoin used. The goal is to increase the purchasing power. The goal is to scale this system because the fiat system is on its last legs. It's not going to get any better. It's only going to get worse. Inflation's only going to get worse. Both definitions, both the government double speak one and the uh, real one which is the increase in the money supply, it's only going to get worse. Interest rates are going higher. Um, you know, hard, hard assets are going to be more valuable. Um, so, of course, Bitcoin is the hardest asset ever. Um, it's more hard than gold because technically gold can be dug out the ground, right? Gold's God's money and has, it will always have a place. But um, sorry, it's inferior to Bitcoin when it comes to payments and it, basically everything because Bitcoin is for everything. So, um, so yeah, that's what I want to say. Um, you know, I, I don't know if this was relevant or not, but I had actually posted on Hotter Locker how you implement free posting. Oh, um, that, that, that brings me to another point I'm going to make, which is also going to be controversial. Um, I had posted how you would do it. I don't know if Zero built it that way, but he shipped within hours. Now we have free posting and a non-posting. So you basically post a different address, um, you know, that's not tied to anything. And you can say whatever you want. And again... It doesn't matter. People can talk about identity and all that stuff. This is, none of that shit matters here um, because people can vote with their coins and they get their coins back at whenever they feel like it. So, you know, you go read their sort by the top. This is what Bitcoiners want. And that's all that matters. Mainstream users, all these people outside the system who don't have coins. We, stop. Pet There's no such thing. Right. There's no such thing as a mainstream user. It's fantasy. It's fiction. Uh, they don't exist. They do not matter. People who do not have coins in the system do not fucking matter. We need to get that shit through our head. Stop trying to think, oh, we got a pitch to all these people who don't have coins. Oh, this uh, X point, uh, six point or seven point billion people don't have Bitcoin. They don't matter. All that matters is here. One thing uh, I want, I want folks to, I want to stress this shit. How many people came to Bitcoin, the conclusion about Bitcoin, because they were pitched it by somebody. All I hear is stories of people rejecting it when someone tried to get them into the system. Almost every person in this system got convinced independently. So meaning that you need to pitch to the people who came to that conclusion. Trying to pitch to people that don't know about it, don't care, is a waste of everybody's time, right? Because the people who have the coin want to pump the coin in price, use, scale, all that stuff. Price matters. I don't care what anyone says. Um, we got to stop saying this dumb stuff. If, if Any time you see someone saying low price is good, uh, price isn't supposed to go up, they don't understand basic fucking economics. Fixed supply, in, infinite, theoretically infinite demand. What do you think is going to happen, right? There's no way the system can get used without the price going up because there's only 21 million coins. 
2.1 quadrillion units, okay? Which is more than probably f circulating fiat currency. So I don't want to hear, oh, we can't use fixed money supply as currency. That's bullshit too. Because you think you can tokenize on top of it. So we got to start hot a locker. And, you know, me, I'm going to be more aggressive in destroying these dumbass narratives. Seriously. Because um, we got to go. We got to push forward. Um, if we don't do it, it's not going to be Core. It's not going to be ETH. It's not going to be Solana. It's not going to be any of these other broken ass shit coins that don't work. Okay. It's going to be Bitcoin. Okay, and I don't care what anybody says. BSV is the closest fucking thing to Bitcoin. Um, you can say fork ID. You can say, oh, difficulty adjust. None of that stuff matters. Okay, does it work? Does it scale? Is it instant? Is it fast? Is it cheap? Okay, uh, speaking of cheap, miners need to make fees free. Um, Craig Wright, he, uh, I had a video about this last year. I got lots of shit for it. I agreed with him 100% about that empty block miner um, basically raping the system. Um, you know, they're subsidized, right? They make 6.25 coins. Tall has lower fees to one Satoshi a kilobyte, which is great. Um, however, this is what I think. Basically, anything to pay the public key hash, simple op return outputs, uh, template scripts, basically like order lock, ordinal lock, um, ordinals. Um, what else? The locking script, the lock in lock time. Um, basically, if it's a script that's been used many times in the chain and, and uh, it's below a kilobyte in size or two kilobytes in size, it needs to be free. Um, and here's the reason. Go look at how much coins miners are earning um, in uh, fees. OK, they're getting six point two five coins. Dude, we are seeing them make like three hundred thousand sats in fees. Do y'all know how much money that is? Uh, that's t a dime. OK, some folks won't pick up a dime off the street. So please tell me this to answer this question. OK, why in the fuck are the miners burdening us devs with onboarding users onto this scalable system for 10 cents a block? OK, 10 cents a block times 144 blocks a day. Uh, that's fourteen dollars. You best believe it costs more than $14 for a dev of a dev's time to implement free posting on just one app when they can do it, lower the fees to zero for every app. And now we can, you know, now no one even has to work on this. You can just as long, like I said, as long as you're using template scripts. And again, Craig has said he stated this many times in the past that um, the some certain template basic stuff should be free and it should be right. Because that way we can onboard everybody without coins. We can finally kill this stupid onboarding narrative of credit cards and all this stuff that doesn't, it doesn't matter. Again, we didn't come to Bitcoin to use credit cards. The whole reason I got into Bitcoin was because I knew credit cards suck. Okay. Um, as someone who's implemented them more times than I wanted to. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at, man. Um, I hope this video, uh, resonates with people. Um, I, I hope I hook folks in uh, with the bait of the drama and not talk about it uh, to talk about the real shit. Again, uh, we don't care about that stuff. You know, people, old folks going to play their old games, um, Web 2 games, stuff that's irrelevant. But this, this where we want to go, man, is we want to use Bitcoin for everything, money, all that stuff. Um, that's what we want to use it for. Right on chain. Uh, to do crazy stuff, you know, people can keep funding the locking thing. That 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 lock number is only going to go up. I don't know if the big BSV price is going to go up. I can tell you that lock number is going to go up. Um, what else? Yeah, man. Um, so you got to just ask this, right? And you know, um, I, I hosted a live stream the other day, and um, you know, when I asked, is the locking thing going to increase the price? Well, um, again, we're rejecting basic economics, right? We don't even have to get into the controversial theoretical stuff. If you take coins out of supply and you have the same level of demand, then the price goes up, right? That's simple economics. I mean, anyone not anyone that doesn't agree with that is just bait, rejecting like bait, the most fun, fundamental principle of economics, which seems, frankly, seems to be too prevalent in the BSV space. We reject supply and demand. We reject value subjective. And, you know, that's why we're all poor. And that coin price is 31 bucks. But um, that's changing. That's going to change, man. Um, and, you know. Folks are going to be coping with this hot locker thing. They're going to be coping with the outcome of COPA, which I hope uh, becomes less relevant as we move on. And remember, I said that, right? I said that. I said, uh, I can't remember when it was, a few weeks or a couple months ago. I said that things are moving so fast that COPA could become irrelevant. And that is a very good outcome for people who actually care about pushing this system forward. All right, guys, I guess I'll end it there. Let me know a feedback. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.